Hello friends, in this particular session we are going to see that how you can uninstall VMware Workstation. VMware Workstation is a software which can help you to install more than one operating system on top of your existing operating system. You can see that VMware Workstation is already installed in this machine and we already have some operating system installed here. If I click on this IIPT dev so you can see that already the operating system is installed. If I want to start it, I can click on this power on this virtual machine. But before doing that, I would like to help you with uninstallation of VMware workstation. For that, I'll close it and I will go to control panel. And here I will find programs and features. So here I have found it. And under it, I will try to see in the list where is VMware Workstation. So I'll just double click on it and it will start the removal. I'll click on next and then remove. And save the following uh, configuration. I'll say don't save and next and remove. It will take a couple of uh, seconds to couple of minutes. It is asking me the permission. I'm saying yes. You can see it is removing all the files, all the backups, everything it has got removed. Completed the VMware workstation pro setup wizard. Click finish. So I'm clicking on finish here. And uh, just I will refresh this. So VMware workstation is not found here now. I'll close this. I'll try to press the Windows button and I'll press VMware. We can see that it is not installed over here. This option is basically the web option. So it will search on the web and it will basically display here the options. So now the second step is that how to install it. So I will open up a browser and after that I will say VMware download and I will be downloading the VMware workstation. So it has been taken over by Broadcom. So uh, we need to understand that companies keep on acquiring other companies so VMware has been taken by another company I'll find a link blogs vmware.com okay cookies so let me see so these are the steps it has given and here it says uh, to download so you can see that it has made it a little lengthy process access broadcom your username you need to put over here and then you will be able to do it so what I will do is I have one old setup so I will go for that old setup and I'll use that so here you can see that I have an old setup and I will use this old setup I'll download this so let me click on download and then download anyway so this one I will be using because if you will go here and uh, yeah let me click over here you can close this so smarter way to cloud and you can see VMware by Broadcom so it has come under Broadcom now products so I need VMware Workstation. Yeah, lot of products they have now. So under resources, let me check. Resources. Okay, so I'll go for all products only. And by that time, my VMware workstation will get downloaded. It doesn't show the VMware that way. Uh, 
okay so we need to cross check like how does it work now so let's go back and now you can see that this has got downloaded i'll click on it and uh, after that uh, it'll ask me do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device i'll say yes and it has started to run the setup and in a couple of minutes it'll got it'll get uh, installed and you can see that this is the screen how things are happening over here now next i accept the license next console path okay next 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 install so it has installed started the installation process and it is giving us the status as well that how the things are getting installed copying the new files because when we had uninstalled we intentionally uninstalled all the files everything we did uninstall knowingly so that it becomes an easy task cleaning up uh, legacy so meanwhile i'll just download something so you can see that i will finish it and it's done so if i want to open it you can see that i can double click on it and it will get open so it is asking for license key as of now i am just putting use vmware workstation for personal use and continue and finish so it has got started you can see now i need to download a machine so i'll click on download anyway and uh, this indeed inspiring hadoop vm will get started to download it now once it will get downloaded then we will start it but i already have some machine here which is already there i'll click on it and i'll click on power on so that you can get to know that how does it get open so you are running this virtual machine with the side channel mitigations enabled so i can click on okay because i don't have any other choice as of now rather than clicking on clicking on okay so this is how even that machine will get started now it depends that uh, if this os comes up with a desktop so we will get a better ui a desktop if this system comes up uh, without a desktop in that particular case it is going to show us uh, the terminal the black shell and in that particular bla black shell we'll have to put the username and password so this is ubuntu machine you can see and uh, in this particular ubuntu machine i must have installed a couple of things so what we will do here is uh, we will try to the other machine download it you can see a couple of uh, more seconds it is there uh, this consumes a lot of memory you can see that it has got open i'm not uh, uh, going to explore it much like you just need to put mind get mind get this as password this is ui based and the one which i am basically downloading it is not ui based it is non ui so it will uh, it will get uh, you with a shell with a terminal so we'll have to work with a terminal over there so here i have logged in on a ui machine and i'm clearly stating that the machine which i am basically downloading here it is not having the ui so some machines come up with ui and some they don't come with ui so what i will do here is i'll just shut it down because uh that machine has got opened up uh, downloaded and i just need to open it up so log out and not log out i'll just do power power off power off i'm just putting it down i'm doing power off now yeah so it has got shut down now we can see that this machine has also got downloaded so what i will do is i'll go to the folder where it has got downloaded and because it is of heavy size so i'll just uh, uh, make a copy of it i'll go to the different drive and here i'll try to see where can i put it maybe under trainings i can put it over here and 
then this is of 627 MB, not too big size. And therefore I have created it as a lightweight. So I'll do extract all and extract. It's a compressed file, zip file. So we need to extract it. And you can see that it is getting extracted over here. And once it gets extracted, there's a very simple step to open it up in the VMware workstation. And now you can see it has got extracted. So I need to go to the folder and I have to search for this 3KB file. Sometimes you are going to guess get this 3KB file as 4KB. So just look at this icon and the 3KB or probably sometimes 4KB. Just double click on it. As soon as you double click, it will open up uh, the VMware workstation. And probably this kind of a pop-up will come. You can click on take ownership and then it will open. You can see that this is indeed inspiring Hadoop VM. Then click on power on this virtual machine. You'll get this notification say OK. And then you can say I copied it because we have downloaded and we have copied this particular machine. So you can say I have copied it and now it will get opened up. So you have to click and press enter. The mouse is not going to work here because this is not uh, a desktop GUI based UI. It is shell terminal. So you can see that it is uh, getting uh, open up and this is CentOS. CentOS is exact copy of Red Hat. So either you use Red Hat, Fedora, CentOS, it's similar. Whenever you want to come out of this particular shell, either you move your mouse, you will come out. If you're not able to come out, press Control and Alt, Control plus Alt, you'll be able to come out of it. Here I have a file which contains the username and password for that setup. Username is root and password is uh, indeed inspiring. So I'll go back and I'll type root as user. Password is I N D double E D I N S P I R I N G. Enter. And you can see we, are, we have logged in because if I say ls, if I say basically cd and slash, I'll be able to move to different different folders. So it's working basically. So as of now, I'll just say init space zero so that I'll shut it down. And uh, that's how we are able to download a backup of a virtual machine and we can start it. So I hope this video is useful. If you want to uninstall, VMware Workstation, if you want to install VMware Workstation and if you want to download a backup of a virtual machine and start working with that particular virtual machine. So all the three things you are able to do it. Thanks a lot for watching this video.